fucking did it. <laughs> Marvelous. Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, look, look. If you guys did not see my latest video that talks about why RP Law is so broken in OPO7 and really OPO8, go ahead and check it out. Card at the top right now. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. As you guys can see, we're going to be talking about how we can beat this broken tier zero deck. This will be the best deck at OPO7. This will be the best deck at OPO8. Hopefully, this gets banned by the time we get to OPO8 in the next three to four months but this will be the meta deck in two weeks y'all so it's very important you guys know how to beat it i'm gonna go over every card real quick tell you what exactly it does because even if you know how to play this deck you still need to know how to beat this deck okay start start off with the leader return one of your opponent's characters with 3,000 power or less to the bottom of the deck then play one four cost allure from your hand so this is a spin back from the field and it's a pretty much a free summon from any one of your four summon characters in your deck as you guys can see a majority of their cards are all four cost or lawyer they do have a couple of different you know blockers that are a little bit bigger when it comes to you know queen and also sanji and the only big body or attacker that they really have is portia d ace let me go over every single card here real quick i'm not gonna spend too long but you guys need to know what each card does so you guys pretty much don't get ran first card is kidding killer one of the best cards in the deck it allows you to pretty much finish games this usually is the very last card they go into to pretty much go for game if your opponent has two or less life this character gains 2000 power until the end of the turn so it comes out as a 7k attacker very very good and a lot of times they can get it off a of free summon off a of trigger frog or law so you have to look out for this at the end game in game that this is usually how they usually end the games they have otama they have another rush downer they usually put this at the end of the game as well since it's only a three cost 5k beater another big body that they do use this is also a tournament winning list is portrait d ace as you guys can see it's a 7k leader but he also lowers people's attack by 3000 that's pretty much the gist of this whole entire deck is try to lower everybody's attack to the point where they can spin back with law this lowers down by 3000 one of the best blockers in the game really really good against yamato lowers your attack lowers their attack this pretty much counters any big boss monster on the field so if you have a big body on the field on your side of the field it's like 10k attack this copies the attack for the turn when attacking very very good this adds don back to your don pile this adds don back to the don pile when attacking one of the best blockers in the game adds don back to the don pile one of the best blockers in the game one of the best blockers in the game adds don back to your don deck adds don back to your don deck just a counter and yeah pretty much fire fist you guys know what it does so pretty much the gist of this deck is like i said earlier swarm if you guys are a big like if you guys are coming from Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys love how the decks are so fast this is pretty much a Yu-Gi-Oh deck the whole gist of the deck is really just to swarm the whole entire field and overwhelm your opponent the way you beat this deck is pretty much you hope they brick because they do run a lot of bricks you hope they brick the second thing is big characters as you guys can see when it comes to big bodies they can't really deal with big bodies the only thing they can really deal with big bodies is, are their blockers and one two three and this right here bon clay so you know big block big characters is what they really struggle against so you really want to try to make it to your end game and get your big big characters out because there's really no way for them to deal with it so you know in their defense they're trying to kill you before you can get out your big boss monsters and the next thing this deck really really does struggle against is black decks mainly gecko moria so uh right here we have gecko moria right here they really struggle against gecko moria and with opl7 they will be struggling against rob lucci just for, because of the new cards they will be getting with issue and also that one girl that allows them to pop anything on the field uh i'm not gonna look for it right now but any this these two decks are really really good against rp law so let's go ahead and get straight into it man like i said this is the best deck in the format it's tier zero deck so i'm gonna show you guys how to beat it but you know it's the best deck so just expect it going in when it comes to opo7 bro but let's go ahead and get it man let's get it 
so let's go ahead and get straight into it but you guys already know what time it is man it's ygod yellow gang or die Whoa. ygod and that's on the gang man shout out to all my delinquents <laughs> We are playing the best deck in the format when it comes to OP07 and OP08. So, you know, hopefully he does get bricked up, no ditty, so we could put this man in a pack, and that's a fact, not an opinion. We're gonna attack. Facts. We definitely going to attack. He's at three life. He attacks me. I'm completely fine. We're gonna go ahead and use this trigger off. You know, cycle out our hand. I want to try to get some new cards in my hand, and get that is actually what I would really want. It's just unfortunate because he did not summon any monsters yet any characters so we're just gonna go for the attack put three underneath leader and then we're gonna use hiori you know take the bottom card and then put shiroshi just back on top if he did have a character on field we would have put the onami because it does blow up any five character or less and pretty much everything in his deck is five characters or five costs he's gonna attack again um i honestly think i'm going to dodge out of this and Gadatu is actually kind of worthless at this moment so yeah, we're just going to get rid of this Godatsu. And yeah, bro. I don't know why he's not summoning. I don't know what this guy is doing. I'm actually very surprised. He goes in for Kid and Killer when he does not have... When I only have... When I have three life. I have no clue why he went into this. We're probably playing against somebody. He does not know what's going on. Uh, we end up getting the Shirohoshi. We're going to ditch two ca two cards. I'm thinking about what we should probably ditch. We probably should ditch that, you know, Godatsu. We really should do the Godatsu, maybe an Ace. Ace isn't really... Ace is good, but, you know, we're just going to go for the Anami and the Godatsu. That's, look, y'all thought I was going to do the Ace. We ain't getting rid of that Ace. But I feel like we're playing against a, law, a not very good Law player. Uh, I have no clue why he went into, you know, Kid and Killer so soon. He spins back one of my mons or one of my characters and he's gonna attack for 5k. We're gonna take this and we are going to get rid of that Zoro. We could have gotten rid of that Gordon, but you know, it is what it is. He does have two characters on field that can drop our attack. So we do have to find a way to get rid of that, but we also have that kid on the field. Like I said, I don't understand why this man went into Kid and Killer. I'm, I just honestly think this man is just literally just bad. Know your fucking place, trash. Fucking robots. Doesn't matter. We about to put him in a pack. Uh, let's see what we're going to go ahead and go into here. Let's going to put all this. We're going to go straight to the attack for Kid and Killer. He's not going to want it gonna counter out gonna do another he ori and we are actually gonna put back uh there we go put back oh nami because like i said oh nami pretty much destroys this whole entire this whole entire deck it really does it really does and he's gonna attack for 5k we're gonna we're gonna counter out like i said we have to wait until we he gets some bigger body mons on the field so when he does attack me i can't just blow him up that's definitely what we want to do can we get an amen in the chat Amen. He summons Bond Clay, which is all good. We need to go ahead and get rid of that. He spins back my Hiori for whatever reason. So he's actually starting to swarm the field. But this is why I tell you this deck reminds you of a Yu-Gi-Oh deck because it swarms so much, man. So he does have two big bodies on field. I'm not really too much of a concern right now. He is at four. We could go for Yamato, but we do go for Yamato. We could pop that Gordon. So it only has one way to lower our attack. And since when we went into our VC, that's what I'm saying. Once you get to late game, if they do not kill you, okay, if they do not kill you, by the time you get to late game, more likely you're going to win. But a good RP law player, usually they're winning before you guys even get to Don 10. I mean, this guy right here, he just got wrapped and packed up. I have no clue what he was doing. I'm about to end this man's whole career. What? This whole career. So let's go ahead and get straight into it before I throw him out like jazz. Ah! <laughs> so we got another game here. You know, I wasn't going to leave you guys off on some bullshit game against uh, non good players that really doesn't know how to play this deck. Uh, I feel like this guy might be a little bit of sweat. Hopefully, he is a sweat. He leads off with this man right here. All good. I decided to go first. You always want to go first while you're a nail because you get to get your good dots who pops off. 
and you know you just don't want to attack until it's like your third official turn when you have five done because it allows you to gadatsu pop anything on the field gadatsu is very very good gadatsu yamato as a nl player is pretty much your go-to man if you guys can see a couple of those throughout the game to really get rid of his whole board you should be winning the game he might spin back my shirahoshi but it's still all good doesn't even matter but this motherfucker better not spin my bitch back i hate this man i hate rp law gang i really do because um their their gameplay is just so damn perfect just swarm the field and you know put everybody you know wrapped up you get what i'm saying perfect definitely perfect man he attacks for 9k he actually doesn't summon any mo uh, characters i'm really on the fence if i should even attack um i could just go out into a kiku or i could go out to kadatsu yeah, we're just gonna go out to Adatsu, kill him. So like I said, the gist of this deck is pretty much to remove his board, remove his board. I have two characters on field. He's gonna wanna start summoning stuff to get rid of, you know, things on the field. And as you guys know, I just recorded this video and we are playing against OPO8. This is OPO8 RP Law that we're playing against. So this is actually gonna be a very, very hard matchup. He does have the Charlotte Pudding. You can't even see what the card does. I'm having it on the screen to the left, as you guys can see. He attacks. I'm not going to use the trigger and it's my turn. So like I said earlier, the gist of this deck is really just to remove shit off his field and don't let him swarm me too much. So we're just going to go for another Godatsu, uh, get rid of him. Maybe I should got rid of putting, but you know, you know, I, I've literally just clicked it. Hey, I should have got rid of putting. Oh, well, we're just going to keep him at four. We're going to kind of starve him out a little bit just so we could have a little bit more Dom because I could just bring out another Gadatsu. When I bring out another Gadatsu, they'll put me perfectly in line for a Yamato. He's gonna probably going to spin one of my characters back after he's done uh, summoning him. He sends out Reju, but I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all, bro. OPO8, OPO8 RP Law is no joke, but like I said earlier, if you could find a way to get rid of his swarm ability, you should really be Gucci, and that's a fact, not an opinion. Fact. He's probably pissed right now. He's probably trembling in his knees. Oh my gosh, god damn. God, hey. As you guys can see, he still has four life. I have two. We're not really worried about the two life because we really have two. We really have four life left. We're, we're pretty much in the same stack as him. We're gonna send out another. We're gonna get rid of that Raju. He can go ahead and keep his puddings. And we're just gonna start. We should just start attacking. Should we start attacking? We might have to start attacking here because it's starting to get to the late game and I want my Yamato. I mean, if I attack too much, it doesn't matter. He's probably going to eat, eat. Even if, he, if he's at two, I can still pop anything that's a four, though. So attack, attack, attack at six. He counters out. Okay, and then attack. He probably, he probably might counter out here. Yeah, he counters out. So we're still good for Yamato. We're definitely still good for Yamato, and we're gonna get this cracker out because we do have less life than him. So if he does try to attack us, he's gonna look. You see how we're swarming the board? We're able to swarm the board right now because we've been able to pretty much rinse all his smaller characters off the field with Gadatsu. He's bringing out the bigger bodies with Queen, but it's all good. It's really, really all good right now. He saw, you see, at the top left, he got rid of the Black Maria. This is an OPOA. I don't know why the cards aren't loading up as well but it does not matter we're about to still clap this man up he spins back my fucking cracker oh gosh it feels like i'm playing against three three different decks i'm playing against a purple deck i'm playing against a blue deck because of the bottom decking and i'm playing against a red deck and, i mean it's actually pretty much insane honestly you can let this go down i don't mind let this go down and yeah he, you see how fast they just swarmed the field but you also could see that he only has four cards in hand so he's actually windling down this is also looks like a better you know rp law player as well so you know it looks like a very very good match eight to six yeah that will take that and we're just gonna draw the cards so this is where things start getting real shisty right now this is where we're gonna really start spinning them up real quick and with this Yamato, Yamato, we're gonna get rid of the queen. So 
get rid of the queen yes sir and then we should we should just clean up the board he's at four can't attack him so he's at four going to the uh, i should just put it on the nail right or put it on a good dot too i should probably should put it yeah there we go let's see if he counters out Maybe I should have put an extra one on the Godots because he does run a 2K, but we also do want him running out of his 2K. So he is burning his 2Ks, which is also good. Just uh, attack that. Yep. So we got to clear his board. So he did burn a 2K. That's completely fine. We have Yamato on the field. So he's going to try to have to get rid of this Yamato, but we do have another Yamato in the back. Even if he does attack us at life, we can't get rid of any four cost characters on the field. So we're actually looking really, really good. And that's why I said, when it comes to late game, this deck struggles. This deck really does struggle. When you start seeing the big, the big beaters on the field. And this is the reason why, because they have to use so much resources, so many resources to get rid of the Yamato, even though I got a Gadatsu on the field right now. All in all, this man is about to get oh wait 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 oh we gonna counter out of that <laughs> well hell yeah we gonna we gonna what the fuck you think i am bro hey yo what the fuck come on gang he sounds out another pudding so he's abusing this opa card this pudding bringing don back and he brings out one of the most broken cards in the game of uh, for for rp law just in general so we only have five don though i wish we were at six i really don't want to summon another yamato at the moment but yeah he has three left should we and i don't want to drop the uh the radio as well i don't want to drop the rock what should we do gang what should we do because he has literally four bodies on field five bodies on field he could go for game next turn and he's probably holding the kid and killer in his hand or killing killer or he might have the zero in their hand even opo8 they still run kid and killer and a um you know everything else they just added black maria this ace i actually might just start going for ace and just start applying pressure so he can try to get rid of try to get rid of that blocker there that he has the sanji blocker so he's gonna dodge out which is actually really good only two cards left in hand we have to start putting in damage we're just gonna just start attacking him i don't even care at this point he's gonna take attack at nine he's probably going to block he does not block go for the ace ace is so good in this deck ace is just so good in this deck there we go attack at seven he might block out of this and he's gonna counter yeah so we got rid of another 2k very very good and we're just gonna summon this this uh kiku so very very good turn we have two life i don't think he can kill us we have two counter in hand he could try to he might try to go for game right now but i feel like we should be good we have pretty much three new cards we're getting our hand to cycle out our hand he has to have one two three he has to have four attacks so if he could skip two so he probably has six attacks right now he probably does have six attacks right now because he probably does have something to rush he goes for six um this could actually go down i don't think we need to save this but we're gonna save it anyways because we on some shy stash shit yeah hell yeah hell yeah maybe he did that to try to bait out a 2k it doesn't matter this man is going to get cooked i'm telling you this man's definitely still going to get cooked he attacks again so he only has four attacks so he's not going for game he's really just trying to clear board that's fine you can go ahead and clear bo uh, board he has th he really has three attacks probably four attacks left so that's probably the reason why he did that okay we could try to bait out you know the counter because we still we still have four attacks with law raju um the extra pudding and maybe something in his hand He's probably not going to spin anything back if he does try to spin anything back. But to be honest with y'all, I haven't seen a Gordon this whole entire game. And I really do feel like he's not going to spin nothing back, bro. But let's just see how this man cooks. I feel like we still got this in the bag, though. I really do feel like we still got this in the bag. <laughs> he attacks 7K at my ace. Should we let this go down? Or should we counter out let's just let's just counter out we have two cards in hand he can't go for game 
We have Yamato in the in the hand as well. And we have a Regu. It's really called Kingdom Come, but let's just see what happens. This is actually a very, very good RP Law player. He's really trying to bait out everything I have, but we really just need to have everything on the field just so, you know, we can really just go for game because he only has one blocker. He only has one blocker. If he just gets rid of that one blocker, we can kingdom come, we can kingdom come him and just really just attack for game because I don't think he has that many counters to stop a 9K, 7K, 6K, and a 5K. So we might rock him next turn. He's, he's thinking at the moment. He's going to attack. That's com that's completely fine. That's completely fine. He's going to attack. That's completely fine. I think I think I just messed up. Oh, he might attack with his Sanji. I didn't even think about attacking with his Sanji. Yeah, that's exactly what he was going to do. Because now he has three attacks. That's fine. He's actually going for game. He's going to try to attack right now. We actually might lose. We actually might lose right now. Oh, we actually don't lose because we have. We drew the fucking flam P. We would have lost. We literally just would have lost if we did not draw this flam P. We would have lost. And that is why this man just got yellowed. He just got yellow, gang. Let's get it. <laughs> Best to ever do I'm it. The best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. This man just got yellowed, and you know he's salty because he's asking for the rematch. Okay, this man just got yellow. Oh my gosh! Round of applause for my man Zanel. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Yeah. Ah, hey. This man just got yellow, but like I said, this deck is so broken. We have to actually, you know, yellow him in order to win. This man is still sitting here for a rematch because I, the salt is pouring from his mouth and his nose right now. We are giving him a rematch. We are heading out because I am hungry as hell. But yeah, y'all, that's all I got. But look, before I go, if you was feeling the vibes, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It all goes.